do want to show you some pictures from earlier this evening to show you just how big this fire was. It was something else to see, and you could see it from just about every part of the city. I told My name is Brian Henderson. I've been a firefighter with the city of Syracuse for five and a half years now. What made me decide to join the fire department? Besides the obvious reason of helping people when they need it most, um, we'd all be lying if we said that the rush, the adrenaline didn't factor into it somewhat. Just you know, going out the door, going to something, getting there, doing our job that we're trained to do, there's a rush that comes along with that. So that is definitely part of the attraction for us. I'm the driver, so getting there is completely my responsibility. That's all on my shoulders. So the first thing I think about is the address in the cross streets. Where are we going? Do I know, you know, am I familiar with that? Do I know how to get there? Uh, who else is going with us? Whether it be the, the ladder truck with us or whether it be other companies or chiefs coming from different directions, I have to anticipate where they're coming from so that we don't meet in an intersection. Um, and then if it's a building I know, I'm also thinking about that. Is it the housing projects where I'm familiar with the building, I need to know which way to enter. Uh, stuff like that, where, where a hydrant is coming in. Uh, that's, that's the first thing that goes through my mind. Um, I got a lot on my mind right from the start because being the driver, it's my responsibility to get everybody there. I'm driving three or four people. It's my responsibility to get everybody there safely in one piece. Uh, we have a saying in the fire, fire service that if we don't get them there in one piece, we can't make a difference. The public calls us because they need somebody to act and help them. So if we're running around all wild and crazy, that doesn't help anybody. They're relying on us. So if we, you know, if we're all wild and crazy, that doesn't give them any confidence in us. So I just try to remain calm. I definitely would say I become less nervous. I become more calm. Um, in the five years that I've been here. I went from being the low man, now I'm the senior man, the senior firefighter on the shift. There's two people below me. So I've tried to learn and I've also tried to be somebody that they can rely on. Um, personally, since I've started here, I've been, I've got married and had three kids. So that being a parent brings a whole new aspect. You just look at everything differently, especially anything involving kids, you know, you feel feel the sympathy for the kids. So, Before I was a firefighter in the city of Syracuse, I was in my hometown, and it was a, a car accident. And uh, the minivan rolled several times, and several people were thrown out of the vehicle. Uh, the mother, it was a mother, father, and three children. The mother was thrown out, and fortunately she was deceased right there. Uh, we knew there was no hope for her. And the children, they were five, seven, ten, roughly. There's three boys, I remember them well, I can vividly remember it. And they weren't hurt real badly, but we were still treating them. And the whole time they were asking us, how's, our, how's mommy, where's my mommy? And stuff like that. And we knew the outcome, but we couldn't tell them that. We had to tell them, you know, we're, we're, we're taking care of you now. We, we couldn't flat out say, she's gonna be okay, because we knew that wasn't true. But, we tried to change the subject, um, and they, you know, they were transported to the hospital. And I never heard any more, but I'm sure they turned out fine. Time is the biggest way to recover from any any traumatic call like that. You can never get used to arriving to anything shocking like that. Uh, you can prepare yourself and kind of be numb to it, but at the end of the day, like, you know, probably somebody's losing their life, or multiple somebody, you know that. You never become totally calm with it. It always is in the back of your head. You always think about it. You know, the the emotions, the, the sight and the smells of a dead body are something you never forget. Even just a block or two away from the fire, it was like daylight. There was so much fire, so much light being produced. But by if we've gone on some stuff, said, uh, made a difference, to, you know, whether it be big or small, you feel like you've done a good job, you feel like you know, the day and the shift has been a success. Uh, you've, you've gotten to use some of your skills. You've l probably learned something. We always try to take something away from every everything we go on. A brick exterior 